Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm going to show you how to get audio working on your retro gadgets. So let's create a gadget. Get a couple boards. What you want to do. Solder them together. For input, let's get two buttons. Let's get a play. And a pause button. Output, we need speakers. One's good. Misc, we're going to need ROM. CPU. And audio. And that's all we need. And now, let's get over to here by clicking this blue bar. And we do edit. CPU 0.lao. Edit. Let's create a variable called audio. Equals. Um, GDT. Dot. ROM. Dot user dot audio samples square brackets uh, two commas, I don't know what those are and so we need to import the audio we click on this piece of paper up here and then this arrow down pointing to machine import pick the song and then you can change the name of the song. Confirm. Back to the Lao. And then you just type what the song name is. So. Now that we got the variable, let's get it working. So let's make it if. So if this button, LED button zero, so it's a GDT. So GDT dot LED button is a zero. Dot put button down. So when we press it. Then um, GDT, no, yeah, dot audio chip. So we want to activate that audio chip. Colon play. And then we put the variable audio on channel zero. End. And then to make the other button work to make the music stop, let's copy and paste everything. And when we click on LED button 1, then we stop. We stop everything on channel 0. Let's see if it works. Press the power button. Play. Pause button works. And that's how you do that. See you guys in the next video.